medication. Okay, go ahead. You're being taped. I'm being taped. Uh oh. Poncho Via time. All right. You ready for this? Ready. No. There was a, a retired history teacher out in Boston. And he heard about Poncho Villa, so he thought he was going to look into it. So he went to the public library, got a Poncho Villa book one, took it home and read it. Beautiful. Just right down his line, right down his alley, you know. And he went back and he told a librarian what a beautiful read, uh, book, and he enjoyed it. She said, well, if you enjoyed it that much, she says, read book two. He's really? She says, yeah. So he said, all right. So he punched out the book two, and he took that home. He read that, and he brought it back, and he says, oh, he said, that was better than book one. She says, they have a book three. She says, you should read that. We don't have it. She says, but they, it, it is being distributed. He says, oh, he says, I can't hardly wait. She says, well, I have an idea. You're a retired school teacher. She says, why don't you jump on a train or a plane and go down to Texas mm -hmm. or New Mexico right down by the Mexican border? They'd probably have it down there. He says, well, that's a, that's a good idea. So lo and behold, he jumped on a plane and flew down to Texas. And he was right, on, right along the border. And he went to the library down there and he explained the situation. He's looking for book three. And the gal down there says, well, I know there is a book three. She says, we don't have it. She says, but I have an idea. You're, you're, you're so interested in it and you came all this way just to read this book, a book three. She says, we're right across the border from Mexico. She says, why don't you go into old Mexico itself and go to a library down there? He says, good, I'm going to do it. But she did. He went in the library down there. And Right along the border, they speak English good as well as we do. So we went and explained the situation. The library says, I know it's out there. She says, but we don't have it. Oh, he says, I read this Poncho V and he says, I enjoyed it so much. So the library says, I have an idea for you. She says, right across the street is a beer joint. She says, at the end of the counter, there's an old, dried up old man that sits at the end of the counter in his beer joint. He says, you go in and talk to him. I know that he knows Panchevia or friends of his that personally know Panchevia. He says, now this guy might tell you that he doesn't understand English, but he does. He says, you got to lubricate him with a few tequila and a couple beers and it'll loosen him up and he'll talk to you. Okay. <laughs> So he went in this bar across the street. Sure enough, there's that old fart sitting down at the end of the <laughs> counter. Mm. He come up to him. He says, "Pardon me, sir." He says, "But I understand, you know, Panchevia." No comprende English. Oh, he says, "That library knew exactly what she's talking about." He says, "Can I buy a tequila?" Oh, see. <laughs> so he bought him a tequila. He's careful with beer. Oh, see. So he had a couple shots, a couple beers, and it loosened him up. And he says, I don't know Pancho Villa personally. He says, what? He says, I have a friend that lives out in the desert. He knows Pancho Villa personally. He says, well, gee, he says, can we go see him? He says, oh, see, he says, but he says, it's a couple of days, maybe three days journey out in the desert. He says, we should have a couple of tequila, maybe two, three beers, you know. He says, it's quite a journey. He says, well, all right. He says, I got the money. He says, you fix up a caravan or whatever you want. And he says, who we'll go? He says, oh, okay. So lo and behold, they started across the desert to stop two or three different nights, had a couple of beers, a couple of tequila, you know, a little other food too. Jeez, and they traveled, and they traveled, and they traveled. Finally, he says, when are we going? He says, hey, senor. He says, pretty soon now, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so the next day, they come across this little bird, and he says, this is where my friend lives. So they went in there to see his friend, and he asked a friend, he says, you know Pancho Villa? He says, oh, he says, yeah. He says, well, what do you mean, yeah? He said, describe to me what you know about Pancho Villa, the guy. So the Mexican, he says, well, he says, Pancho Villa, he says, he's not too tall. He says, but he's wide. He says, he's got a big black sombrero. He yeah. rides a beautiful black horse. He says, he got the bullet here and the bullet here, the gun here and the gun here. He says, that's the Pancho Villa. He says, well, how well do you know Pancho Villa? He says, oh, I know him pretty good. He says, him and I, we was friends for quite a while. He says, but, he says, one day, he says, I don't know why it done happened, but it did. 
He says, one day, Pancho Villa, he says, he rides up to my house, you know, Pancho Villa, he's not too tall, but he's wide. He's got the bullet here, the bullet here, the gun here, the gun here, the big black hat, right, a beautiful black horse. He come up to my house, and I says, hey, Pancho Villa, how are you? And the guy says, don't talk, to, or Pancho Villa says, don't talk to me, you piss me off. He said, I piss you off? Why you piss you off? He said, because I don't like you no more. He said, well, what do you mean? And he said, Pancho Villa got off of his horse. And he come over to me, and he says, I don't like you. He says, so he pulls out this gun. And he aims it at me. He says, I'm going to shoot you. I said, why are you going to shoot me? He said, I don't like you no more. He said, but Pancho Villa, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. He said, I don't do anything. Don't shoot. He said, you don't want me to shoot? No, don't shoot. He said, all right. He says, you eat shit. I said, what? He said, you eat shit. I said, I eat shit. I get sick. He says, you don't eat shit. You die. He says, what do I do? Oh, oh, oh. He says, I eat shit. And he says, Pancho Villa, he's standing there, you know, he's not too tall, but he's wide. He's got the bullet here and the bullet here and the gun here and the gun here, the big black sombrero, riding a beautiful black horse. He, Pancho Villa, gets off his horse and he says, oh, 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 oh. He started laughing. He says, that burned me up. He says, I got up and he says, I grabbed Pancho Villa's gun. And I says, I'll run to his head. I says, Pancho Villa, I'm going to shoot you now. And Pancho Villa says, don't shoot, don't shoot. I says, are you going to shoot you? He says, you eat shit. He says, I eat shit, I'm going to sick. He says, you eat shit or you die. So he says, Pancho Villa, he get down on his knees, and he, he eat shit too. Now, you ask me, do I, have, do I know Pancho Villa? See, si. we had lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Now, that was a short version. That